In this video, I'm going to show you how, in a couple quick steps, to connect your water supply line to a Samsung dishwasher that specifically includes this plastic connection. Okay, so when you first open up your Samsung dishwasher, this plastic fitting can be located on the inlet valve itself on the back side. So you're gonna look for, you know, turn the dishwasher onto the back. I got it elevated on a countertop. This way you can get a good view of where I'm working. But once you pull this uh, plastic fitting off, you're gonna notice that it comes with a rubber washer. Um, notice that it's a flat washer. It's really important for this plastic fitting to actually work. There's no nubs on it. Um, similar to uh, say for example this one so this one has these little nubs um, Samsung specifies that um, in order for this seal or this plastic uh, connection to make uh, the proper seal it needs to be a flat um, smooth uh, rubber washer so anyway so let's go ahead let me show you how to use this plastic connection um, when you, uh, when you're ready to connect your water supply line I do want to point out that there are a few different elbow options as you can see here there's a little bit, a few different designs. This one's you know, a little bit longer than the other one. But the reason why I want to show you that is just to take this for example, um, which is a common one found in most dishwasher kits. First thing you're gonna do is remove this part. So you take the, the rubber um, gasket out and then take this out. And what you're supposed to do now is just run this right through here so that this creates, you know, this can be used to attach to the inlet valve. But as you can see, I can fight with it, I'm applying pressure, but it doesn't go. So obviously not every elbow is gonna work. This is a perfect example of one that won't work. However, in contrast, this one, same, same, same idea, remove that, and then same, you just run it through, but as you can see, bam, this one fits right in. So um, unfortunately not every 90 degree elbow is gonna necessarily work, but um, there are, you know, there's a few options out there that do exist. Unfortunately, they don't really clarify which ones, you know, which ones will, which ones won't work. But um, this one, uh, just to show you now, the other thing is not forgetting to use the smooth um, uh, rubber gasket. So we'll pop that on and just push that in. Get it, make sure you get it nice and pushed in as far as it'll go by hand so that you can get like, you know, you're able to actually thread to the inlet valve. So we look at that, so straighten that out. Bam, and it kind of clips in like just like that, and then just push in the, the rubber gasket. So <clears throat> the next step from here, just because it'll make it a lot easier for you to connect your water supply line, is go ahead and add um, your water supply line um, to the opposite end of the the 90 degree elbow and it's just simply these supply lines if you're using one like this it's a steel braided line it's got a built-in seal so that will actually help you know seal the line um, and you're just gonna thread that just like this Th hand tighten it as much as possible and then you could either get a 5 8 inch open wrench or a adjustable crescent wrench and just tighten this down there's no need to over tighten it. Like I said, the rubber seal that's inside this hose will do the work. Just tighten it to where it's snug. And then now we can go ahead and attach the fitting to the dishwasher. Sorry, mine came a little undone. So I'm gonna get that adjusted. All right, now um, in this step, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the that the hose is pointed in the direction of where it's going to be running under your sink. So if your sink is to this side, you're going to run it um, in that direction. If your sink is the opposite way, obviously, so just turn it this way. So just make sure that you do that so that you don't end up um, kinking the line in any way. So let's go ahead and get this attached. I'll show you. As I mentioned, um, this is, it is, you know, a plastic thread for the inlet valve. So you want to be careful when you're putting this on. They're very easy to cross thread. Um, and then, you know, that just create a, a problem for you with any with leakage and things of that nature. So I'm pushing the seal back in and I'm going to go ahead and just get the right angle and then you could attach it 
So just keep in mind, my hand might have been blocking it, but I'm trying to keep my eye on the thread and just making sure that I'm getting a nice smooth connection. If you feel like you're having to apply pressure when attaching this, back out, it should be a nice smooth connection. If you are applying pressure, it's likely you're probably cross threading it. So just back out and start over. I got a nice smooth connection and this doesn't need any tools. You literally could just go hand tighten as much as you can, just go fully tighten to the extent that you can see this no longer will move. So it's still moving a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit more. Once it's tight to its max, then it won't move anymore. See, just like that. So that's nice and tight. Um, and then of course, <clears throat> um, you can actually watch my complete installation video on a Samsung dishwasher to see the next steps. I just mainly wanted to demonstrate how to use the plastic fitting that is included with Samsung dishwasher. Um, if you, for whatever reason, have complications and end up using, you know, you end up with your, you know, your, um, your best fitting is this one and you're not able to use that. I've, for many years and thousands of installs, I've used this fitting and all you have to do is just be, you know, mindful of brass being how, you know, how tough it is and it can just easily rip through a plastic connection. So if you're just extra careful, um, and just threading it, you know, nice and easy and just avoid over tightening it then you should be fine. I've never had a, uh, any kind of leaks, thankfully. But regardless of which fitting you use, it is important that once you do run the line, um, if, you, if it's at all possible, before you slide the dishwasher into place, get the water hooked up and get the water turned on and check these connections. This ends up behind the dishwasher and if you have a leak and it's a slow leak, you'll never know until a bunch of damage has been caused. But either way, I really hope this video helps um, answer your questions regarding the Samsung plastic fitting. Uh, if so, please give this video a like and of course subscribe for more.